I have got this lesson on the tangent ratio. Okay, For our, throughout this whole lesson we'll be doing the tan ratio and tan is equal to the opposite side of a right angle triangle over the adjacent side. And my number one rule in doing all these folks is whenever you get a sine, cos or tan subject sum in a right angle triangle is make sure you look at the angle first and have a look at what you're given and where you've got to head. So let's look at a couple of examples here really quickly. The first one is a right angle triangle. Step one, make sure, or first rule, looking at that angle, we've got an angle of 60. We need to find an opposite and we're given an adjacent. So, step number one, let's write the formula now. Tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. We then need to substitute into that formula. Tan of the angle 60 is equal to my unknown, which is the opposite, divided by my 25, which is the adjacent side. Now what I need to do is get that x by itself. So I'm going to rearrange my formula so that I get x by itself. And that's when this little triangle comes up handy. What we need to do is cover what we're looking for. So we're trying to find an opposite side. And the triangle tells us the rest. It tells us that it's 10 multiplied by the adjacent. So therefore, the opposite side, or in this case our x, is equal to 1060 multiplied by 25. You should be able to type that straight into your calculator and get the answer, which is step three answer, and you should come to 43.30. All right, let's look at the next example, nice and simple. Again, the first rule always is have a look at the angle. We have an angle of 30 degrees in this right angle triangle. We're given the opposite side this time, so and the unknown is on the adjacent. So start with the formula, tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. Substitute in is our next step. Tan angle 30 is equal to 6, which is our opposite side, divided by our unknown, which is the adjacent. Again, we're going to rearrange so that we get our unknown by itself. This time we're trying to find an adjacent side. So if I cover that, it tells me that it's the opposite side divided by tan of the angle. Okay, so what I do is 6 divided by tan 30. Alright, putting that in my calculator again as it reads, and my answer comes out as 10.39. Alright, well let's try a couple of practices. I've got them up on the board now for you. Okay, two practices to do. Two right angle triangles, one with an angle of 20, and you need to find me the opposite side. The other one with an angle of 35, and you need find me the adjacent. Just be aware if you're going for the full marks in your exam, these ones both have units, this one's in metres, this one's in centimetres, so make sure your answer has some units on it as well. We'll give you about five minutes, have a go in your book, pen and paper is the way to go, come back and we'll have the answers for you after that. Thanks. Hi, welcome back. Let's uh, go through and we'll have a look at the answers now. Hopefully that you had a good go at them and uh, we'll see how you went. All right, we're looking at this triangle. First things first, look at the angle. Looking at that angle, we've been given an opposite that we need to find out, and we've given the adjacent side of 45 centimeters. So, we're looking at a tan sum. First step, write the formula in. Tan of 20 is equal to opposite over adjacent, all right? Step two, substitute into that formula. The opposite is x, our unknown, and the adjacent is 45. Okay, the next step is we want to get x by itself. So we want to do our rearranging. Remember I showed you this triangle earlier. What we're going to do is cover what we're trying to find. We're going to try and find an opposite side. So that means we need to do tan of the angle multiplied by the adjacent. Alright, so tan 20 multiplied by 45 will give us our answer. Oh, which will give us our answer of 16.38. Now that is in centimetres. Alright, now I've got three eight, I've rounded up 
to get 3a, alright? If you happen to write 3a7 there, I'm sure your teacher will think that's okay. Let's look at the second one and see how you went. Alright, same triangle, first step, let's look at that angle, 35 degrees, we're given an opposite and an adjacent. Step one, formula. 1035 is equal to opposite over adjacent. Step two, substitute in. This time our opposite is 22, and our adjacent is the unknown. Okay, so back up to the triangle. We're trying to find an adjacent side. Cover the A. It will tell us that it is the opposite divided by 10 of the angle. Opposite divided by 10. which will give us step three. An answer of 31.42. All right, and that is in meters. Okay, I hope you did really well. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you again.